It's the most popular movie series of all time. The greatest show in Paris. I mean, the greatest show in the whole world. Cabin Fever Entertainment is proud to present The Little Rascals on home video. These are the original Little Rascals. Now they're better than ever. For years, the Little Rascals have been censored. Some of their movies haven't been seen for decades. And previous video collections contained low contrast scratched prints ruined from years of neglect. Not cabin fever. These are all the original classics. Uncut. Remastered from the Library of Congress's original 35 millimeter prints and restored to mint condition through a process costing nearly half a million dollars. It's all your favorite moments. Say, let's start a club right now. The even woman is. Don't call me Norman. Call me Chubby Ubby. Ah, Daddy. And all your favorite rascals, even ones you haven't seen for years. Each volume is introduced by Entertainment Tonight's Leonard Walton co-author of the book, The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang. My Juliet, my Julio. The original Little Rascals, only from Cabin Fever Entertainment. originally known as Our Gang, ran for 23 years in movie theaters and went from the silent movie era right through the coming of sound. The first film you're going to see was a pioneering effort from the earliest days of talking pictures. It was made in 1929, and it's called Railroadin'. Many actors who'd been popular in silent movies saw their careers ruined because they couldn't speak well or their voices didn't seem to match their personalities. None of this seemed to bother the kids in Our Gang. Some filmmakers felt hampered by sound, fearful that they couldn't move the new bulkier camera or hide the microphone, which had to be invisible to the audience. Or worse, that moving the camera and microphone might make noise. This had never been an issue in silent films. While big-time feature filmmakers were grappling with these problems and others, the folks at the humble Hal Roach Comedy Studio simply forged ahead, and after a few false starts, went right ahead making wonderful slapstick comedies with sound as a bonus not an obstacle. Real Roden was the second all-talking film to feature The Little Rascals. And not only does it show the kids adjusting quite nicely to dialogue, but also shows off the skill of the behind-the-scenes team with a dazzling display of filmmaking on natural locations with moving camera work. So much for those stories you read about cameras being nailed down in place and actors not being able to move when talkies came along. Our next two films show just how polished and professional the entire team became by the late 1930s. Both Roman Holiday and Three Men in a Tub are slick, fast-paced one-reel shorts from the period when the gang consisted of Spanky, Alfalfa, Darla, Buckwheat, and Porky. Three Men in a Tub is also a perfect showcase for the insufferable Waldo. Finally, we turn back the clock to the waning days of silent movies to see the late 20s rascals in action. In a very funny outing called Cat dog and company. You'll recognize many of the kids from this 1929 short made just months before Railroad. You won't hear the kids' voices, but you'll see how silent comedy spoke a universal language of laughter.
find out more about the amazing history of the Little Rascals and the remarkable kids who starred in this series, turn to The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang by Leonard Malton and Richard W. Bann. Its pages are crammed with facts, photos, and behind-the-scenes information on all 221 Our Gang comedies with biographies of every Little Rascal and the story of what happened to them in later life. Ask for The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang at your local bookstore or have them order it for you. It's published by Crown.